Firestarter 2022 movie review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on Firestarter from 2022. Now, apparently Drew Barrymore's first movie was the original Firestarter. I never saw that version of Firestarter. So this is just gonna be me kind of jumping straight into it, not knowing anything about what's going on jumping right into it, seeing if I enjoy it. My quick little synopsis that's spoiler free is this movie had a lot of potential. Um, it seems like they're going for like an X-Men type movie, but just things aren't really explored. You get very little like mutant type things. And I do think the powers kind of aspects in this movie was done better in other movies. If you're going for like an X-Men type power thing. And I do think one of the things that actually hindered this movie was it being too short because there was actually several uh, pretty high up emotional scenes in this movie to where there just wasn't enough time built up into that point for it to have the maximum effect. So this movie really could have been an extra 15, maybe even 30 minutes longer to flush out the characters, flush out more of the story and make these dramatic points hit a little harder. And I would say by try or pass, probably straight up try. If you look, just look for, if you're looking for like a simple X-Men type movie, kind of a little bit lower budget, a couple cool ideas, a couple cool thrills, a couple cool emotions, but nothing too flushed out, nothing too crazy or like the best thing you've ever seen. I think it's okay. I definitely did not regret watching it. Now on, it's just gonna be spoilers. So there were so many emotional scenes in this movie. I mean, right off, you have a, basically like a family on the run. Immediately you have the mom die, just very emotional because you have this family that you like, you're really getting to know them and the, the mom is just gone right away. And I do think that the scenes that they had as a family should have been shot a little differently because it felt like that, you know, you were on this story arc with the mom that was gonna get resolved at the end. And all of a sudden she's just boom, she's just dead, you know? I do wanna say also, I wish there was a little bit more fire scenes in the beginning. Um, when you're kind of like building up to the end climactic scene where most of the action is, you get like one or two teases of powers, of fire powers, and it just isn't enough. You see so little, like you're waiting 20, 30 minutes, you see this fire thing and it's just not enough to get you you know, okay, I, I'm satisfied with what I saw as being impressive. I can just wait for things to turn up later on. It just, I didn't get enough of the CGI of the um, intense action, mainly in the beginning. The, the ideas here were pretty good, but again, X-Men did everything better. Um, it's, this world was very, very, very small. I mean, it seems like you have this like covert agency capturing, you know, mutants basically, and they're all kind of like above the law, but it seems like there's there's almost nobody in the building, no higher up people, no like groups across the US. It just seems like this really small, tiny little project that you could just kill like two or three people and everybody's dead in the whole project. And it was just, just hard to believe that it could be this complex. You know, if you look at X-Men, you couldn't just do one thing and have everything solved for the X-Men. You have so many complexities that you know, it just, it couldn't be solved, especially in 90 minutes. And most of the time I really do like short movies, but this one, it really, it really hurt everything. I mean, even um, there was a point at the end where there's like this, I don't know his name, but there's this guy with superpowers. He's kind of like a native American guy. And he's been kind of attacking their whole family, the whole movie. And at the end, he kind of saves the girl, picks her up and walks away. I don't know, I just, even that, I was like, it was too soon. Like I, you needed to let all this breathe for that moment to hit. It almost reminded me, to be honest, of Mortal Kombat. I don't know if you've seen Mortal Kombat this year where it's like so much cool stuff could happen, but nothing really does. It seems like if something cool happens, it's in the future almost, you know what I mean? So. Um, to be honest though, this movie was pretty solid. I thought the acting was pretty good. I thought, you know, some of the effects were pretty good. Um, I did notice that for sure the John Carpenter style theme here. I think the original movie was um, shot by John Carpenter. So there's almost this Halloween-esque theme in the background. So I just wish it was more fleshed out. I wish there was more people in the world. I wish there was more mutants. I wish there was more time building the characters because um, I actually wouldn't mind seeing like the, that whole family dynamic played out to the whole movie. I thought they had a pretty interesting family dynamic. So um, if I was going to give this a rating, I'd probably give it a seven out of 10. Uh, it's so easy to watch, very easy. Just, you know, don't expect it to go, you know, to be like the Avengers or be this complex 
complex masterpiece. It's kind of a little bit simple, but I really did enjoy it for what it was. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Firestarter 2022. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.